Hello there, it's F Future Woolen here. Uh, I just want to quickly, this is Future Woolen. I've already recorded this video. I just, I'm just putting a little, uh, a little warning in. Um, I recorded this earlier today when I was very tired. And what you may watch may frustrate and honestly terrify some of you. So those of you with weak hearts, um, who like thinking things through before you do major projects, be warned, I'm very stupid for the next hour. So please take it with a grain of salt. I understand what I have done now. I've had a few more coffees and I am more awake. So please don't be too frustrated. Okay. I have thought out a better solution now that would avoid pretty much all the work I do, which I will say at the end of the video. I will be back at the end, Future Woolen, to greet you. For now, have a nice day, enjoy the video, and please Try not to get too upset, okay? All right, bye-bye. Ho, ho, ho. It's me, the creeper and zombie, their best friends from Minecraft. No, for the seventh time in a row, you've all been fooled. Extremely easy to trick, I think. Simple to deceive, foolish you all are. Um, hello everyone, welcome back. I'm slightly low energy. Where did that come from? I thought I had energy today. Apparently not. I have no Pomu energy today. But anyway, how is everyone? Welcome back. Um, back in the world of Minecraft today. Chateau chat, apparently. Bing bong. Yep. Yeah. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all well. Um, I've got some uh, some plans for today, I think. Um, so Find on... Let me just quickly rest through the night. I think this is fine. On uh, Discord, Find sent me a little uh, setup he's done for a two-way switch. So I want to quickly experiment to see if it does work in beta, because I might go and implement that in my cool water elevator that we made last time. If you want to stop doing that. That was a little scary, I'll be honest. Um, I want to give that a go just quickly before I completely lose track of what I'm doing, but yeah, how, how is everyone? I, it's been actually quite a while since we've played now. Um, I did the funny thing where, um, the last video, I was like, damn, I'm doing like a m million videos in a row, I'm the best. Uh, and then I was like, oh, I don't need to do one for a little while now. And now it's been a little while, and, uh, well, you know how, you know how, you know how it do be sometimes. Um, when you don't do something, it doesn't get done. So we're now here doing something, and I'm excited. I can't wait, can't wait to do some gaming moments. Uh, so to get started, I'm going to... Jump right into it. We're going to make some couple pistons. So I think I don't think we needed uh, st we need redstone. Here we go. So it's quite a cool little design. I'm hoping it does work. I don't know if this is a flip flop or whatever it's called, but um, I'm sure you'll all let me know in the comments. It's a it's a nice design he sent me. Uh, we need a couple torch. We need one torch really, and a couple buttons I think. And it should be maybe we need a repeater as well if we want to extend it. I'm, uh, I know I'm like looking over my shoulder at this at this picture. I'm sure you, don't, you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, but it'll, it'll make sense in just a moment. Uh, we need to craft a couple buttons, I think. Uh, maybe we could technically do it with levers. I'm not sure, but we'll do it with buttons like this. All right. Oh my God, that's cute. Uh, all right. We had some good comments about the bing bong last time. I'm happy with that. You lot like you lot seem to like the button, and and so do I, honestly. Actually, uh, let's grab some. Yeah, let's grab some dirt. Let's make this a little easier on ourselves. Because um, the idea, hopefully, is that we'll have a upstairs and a downstairs on-off button. I think that's I think that's right. Um, at least in the design he sent me, he said you can extend the on-off button circuit like as much as you want, and you wire it up. So let's let's test it out. Let me build the thing I've been talking about. Um, I haven't actually done this before, so I'm sort of doing this doing this from sight right now. And uh, you all know my site isn't really the best. It's it's good enough, I guess. So I'm going to plonk down a piston like this. This piston will be the on button. So underneath, we'll have a torch like this. And on top, we'll have a block of which another piston... Whoops. Another piston we'll be looking at. Like that. Okay? And then I think we have behind this, we have some redstone. Something like that. Uh, maybe that's it. Maybe maybe there's not much more than that. Behind this one, we have a little redstone as well. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can hook it up on this wall here. That's probably fine, isn't it? Something something like this. 
I'm excited. If this does work, it will be so satisfying. There's nothing better than having like a cool redstone contraption. All right. Cool. Maybe it doesn't. I don't. I don't know how it's meant to work. Um. So behind that, that's the idea at least. You have like a piston moving a block back and forth, so it's like a permanent state from a button. Uh, rather than the button going on and then off temporarily, it permanently moves something. I think that's the idea. I kind of love the idea that redstone actually, like. Uh, pistons do something in redstone other than just moving blocks. Like, I like the idea that they can actually be used in a state system. Okay, so that's off. And that's on. Okay, I think this could work then. Um, and then theoretically, this should work with multiple buttons, because I, I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't, honestly. Looking, looking at how simple it is, um, if I were to have a thing... Oh, actually, it can't work like that. I would need to extend this out. <laughs> Uh, let's just try it this side. I I think it will. I'm thinking it's I'm thinking it's gonna work. But just uh, just for sanity's sake, I'm gonna do this, 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 and this, and we're just gonna go plonk plonk plonk. One there and one there. Yeah. I mean, I don't see why this wouldn't work with multiple buttons. So I think the idea then is that we have this somewhere in the mountain, maybe near the bottom or the top or the middle, and then we extend off one of these buttons up to the top, and the same thing over here, we extend one of them up top, and then that way we'll have like a little, little on-off switch. And maybe I could even... Oh, this is kind of, kind of a cute idea. I don't know if it really fits with the aesthetic, but I think it's th it fits with the redstone aesthetic. I could have like a little green wool and a little red wool uh, to indicate on and off. What do you think? I think that's kind of cute. Actually, I did have a thought um, at the end of last video, I think, but I, I don't think I mentioned it. Um, I was thinking about maybe having, all the way up the mountain, we have that little shaft, right, with the extenders and stuff. I was wondering if maybe we should carve out... Oh, shit, hang on. Like this. I was wondering if maybe we should carve out, like, a sliver down the side of the mountain. Like, you know the side of PC cases, where they have, like, a piece of tempered glass? So you can see the ins the internals. I was thinking maybe we have like a little... Some... Oh, that's a sheep. I was thinking maybe we have like a little sliver down here of glass where you can see all the contraptions working on the inside and you can see like if everything's lit up. I mean obviously you can see the water coming down, but you know, you can see everything's lit up like an on like an on button. I don't know, I think, I think that sounds kind of cool. I, I might do that. Maybe I'll even have some like torches going on the way up or something, I don't know. But, um, let's see what we can do. So right now we have this, this lever doing the job for us. And indeed it does work. I, I think this is so cool. I know I kept talking about it last uh, video, but I, I really do think it's absolutely sick. Um, so I'm thinking we want to have an on and an off button. Let's, uh... I don't know how I'm going to split them up necessarily, but let me just do it like that and that. Let me go grab some wool. How do I make green wool? Do I need to cook a cactus? And then I think, I think, like, I, I, don't, I don't know the last time I made green wool. I think it's from cactus. Red wool is just, a uh, red, yeah, red wool. Just from this stuff. Not Redwall the book. I don't know how many of you have read the Redwall series. I don't know how popular they were. My sister had like a million of, this, of the books, so I read them, but... I don't know how mainstream they are. They were sort of a, um... Let's do this. Uh, is it, wait, is this all the cactus we've got? Oh shit, I should, I should plant two of these. Or only cook two of them. I think you cook them, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Red Bull series was like a little sort of fantasy series focused around like small forest creatures in medieval times. So there were like the otters and I think there were maybe the good guys. There were badgers who I think maybe were also good guys, but I feel I don't really remember too well. The rats I think were good, maybe. Or like the mice. Mice were good. I don't remember who the evil blokes were. Maybe the badgers were evil. I don't remember. But it was cool and it was, it was all nice and medieval. It was called Red Wool because... Uh, in one of the earlier... Oh, I guess I could have made light green wool. No, dark green looks cooler. Uh, in one of the earliest books, like, chronologically, they, like, build this sort of... I think it's a church or something? It's been, like, 20 years since I've read this, so... Sorry if my memory's a bit phasey, but... They build, like, a church out of, like, red clay or something. Uh, and it's, that's why they call it Red Wool. And then uh, the rest of the series sort of takes place in that in that world and the titular Red Wool Castle or whatever church. It's cool. I highly, highly recommend it, probably. Uh, it's been, you know, a long time, but I remember it being, like, a good bit of fun. Okay, I kind of like that. I know, I know it's a little sketch, because it's, you know, it's Minecraft, but... 
Maybe I could use wooden buttons instead of stone buttons. I don't know if that would look better. Wait, hang on. Let me go. Does this version have wooden buttons? No, wooden buttons are a new thing, right? It's just a button. Yeah. Okay. I've been playing a lot on the server lately, so I've, I'm, I'm gonna have a little trouble remembering what's old and what's new. And you'll please have to forgive me for that. I promise you. I'm, I'm a super hipster. All right. I would never forget what was in the old game and what's not in the new game. Like, I know this version has wood pressure plates that anything sets off, like an item, and stone that only, like, creatures and players set off, but... I think sometimes I might forget. I'm glad I remembered how to make green dye. Like, cactuses do have a use. I always forget that they do. We should make a sick cactus farm at some point, right? I saw one on Reddit that was a big pyramid from one point, like, pre-lever times, where it just flows down and harvests. And then, obviously, there's, like, the... You can make a cactus farm that just pushes out pistons. I, I don't know. We'll come up with something cool. But, in the future. <laughs> we'll do that in the future. Oh, I guess this is just permanently on until I, um... Can I just, like, do this just to stop it from flowing? Is that gonna work? Just to- just so I don't have to listen to this water flowing. I think I prefer there being a little bit of visibility on the wall here. Like that. There we go. We'll pretty this up at some point. I don't know- I don't know how. Um, but we will. I don't know what- maybe we can make this basin out of, like, iron blocks or something, like a sink. That might look a bit silly. Okay, so let's try and build out that thing I just had. Uh, I don't know where I'll put it, so I guess I'll just start, like, here. Why not? We need to have a redstone torch, so this will be the torch. We need to have a piston, uh, what was it? I think there? Piston there, and then a piston here? Oh, I guess I could use wool for this. No, actually. Yeah, I could use a wool for this, just, just for visibility's sake. So I think that's right. Um, I don't... You know what? Can I, I don't think this works without a torch, right? No, you have to use a torch for that. I wonder how Notch decided to do all this stuff. It, it, it seems so arbitrary to me, like the putting a block underneath that just like toggles it. You know what I mean? Like this, this system feels really arbitrary to me. Um, maybe I just don't understand. I don't know if uh, this verticality thing will work either. I might need to mess around with it. Uh, anyway, should I move this along a little bit? Do you think I've got enough room? I think I think I have probably just about enough room, don't I? So this is the off button. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can just flip them, right? There's there's nothing that says this one has to be green and the other one has to be red. We can just flip them. I was going to think, oh no, we have to move the whole contraption inside, you know. Let's use fucking Occam's razor, right? Simplest, simplest solution is usually the best. Is that Occam? I think that's Occam's, right? I think it's usually the simplest answer is the right one. I think that's Occam's razor, but I think it makes sense here. The pro programmer's razor. Programmer's um, razor death adder pro. Uh, elite. Super. Okay, no, I'm not, I've not given myself enough room, so before we get too obsessed with ourselves let's uh, let's just move everything along a little bit you know let's simplify things again woolen's razor i'll call it uh, i actually did buy a new razor a few weeks ago it's a uh, it's a nice one it's a phillips 5000 series or something highly recommend it if you're looking for a new beard shaver or i don't know maybe you could shave other bits with it but i like it it's like middle priced and functions extremely well. I think I'd prefer that to a really cheap one that breaks in a year and cuts me up, and a really expensive one that doesn't really do anything but makes me feel poor. I kind of like the middle. Best price is best, or something. I don't know, remember what the saying is. I should probably have more torches on me, shouldn't I? This is a little dismal. Okay, um, let's actually put the contraption back here. Look. Bam, bam, bam. We could also actually reverse it, because I think he said the output has to come out. No, I don't think the output has to come out any particular side in general. Never mind, this is fine. So we'll have our piston here, and then our other piston here. We'll have our torch under here, and we will put our wool block here. So there's our state machine, and then here's the output, or I guess this is the output here. Uh, we'll make it out of wood for now, just to simplify it again. I think that's right. Does that make sense? I think actually this should dig around the other side, like this. Um, just, we need to give ourselves lots of room, lots of room. We don't have, like, we've got the luxury here of building in a mountain. 
We're not having to, you know, dig inside our own home or worry about anything like that. We can we can literally use as much space as we want, and that's that's kind of good. I love that. I don't like being space constricted. Sometimes it's fun to see just how you can hide all the wires, but sometimes sometimes I just want it to work. You know, I don't have to worry about it. Here we go. I don't know if there's any way to get redstone to curve around like this, because if I put two here, it just it's just going to go in a straight line, isn't it? I don't know if there's any way to make it go in there, even with like a repeater. Maybe there is. But yeah, I was saying earlier, I don't know how Notch came up with all the the decisions for how redstone was working. It seems like such an intricate system for him to have built for like one update. I just, it's, it's, I don't know. It seems really impressive to me, but I'm wondering if maybe this follows like some standard. Like, is this, is this like an implementation of basic or something, you know? Obviously not basic, but you know, like, is this, is this, is this like a pseudo programming language of some kind? Uh, like it is, but you, I, I think you know what I'm trying to get at, right? Like, is he imitated something with Redstone? Hang on, why isn't this working? Hang on, hang on. Um, have I put them too close? You need to be back a block, I guess. Maybe? Oh, wait, hang on. No, I don't. It's this thing, isn't it? You're causing problems. Oh, that's an easy fix then, I think. Is that an easy fix? We just do this? Uh, what have I done? Oh, maybe it's maybe it's actually more of a pain. That that looks a little messy, but it about that it's a little nicer. All right, that that might actually work now. Let's try that. Oh, did I just get rid of the pit? I just moved the piston out of the way. Hang on, I'm stupid. Give me a second. Let's try. I think I was right. I think it is meant to be here. We do that, and we go. Bum bum. Ba bum And you can do it as many times as you want and it doesn't change anything. I kind of like that the button's physically pressing something. There's something really satisfying about that. Okay, um, I think the output comes out from... I think it's behind this torch somehow. Is it here? Is this the output? So that's off. I don't, I don't bring anything to show... I guess I could make a crafting bench and make another piston. I'll need to use pistons for other stuff anyway, so let's just do that. Just to show an output, right? So we'll do this. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. And we'll just have this, like, here. Just... I don't know if that will even work, actually. How about... that? Does that... Or does it have to feed into the back of a piston? I didn't think this was going to be so complicated. <laughs> I thought I was just going to quickly slap... Okay, there we go. So, this should be on. Oh, it's not, that's not working. I'm not even seeing an output out there. Hang on. Maybe this isn't where it comes from. I think it's behind the torch, actually. I think there's meant to be a block here, and maybe that's where the signal comes from. I think it's like this, maybe. And we do this. It's really dark, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's try that. So we have on. And off. If you look through there. Why did I just hear Phantom Ganon? Alright. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. So then we can now tie this into our actual system, somehow. Don't know how we're going to link this into the torch. We did it before. I don't remember how I did it, but I did do it. <laughs> do I need to get more redstone? Am I running out of that stuff? I must have more in a chest somewhere, surely. Surely this isn't all the redstone. I mean, we can just go and look for more. It's not that big of a deal. Let's, uh, let's go home. Let's go get what we can get. Uh, also, yeah, I guess I should have uh, started the stream off by saying I remembered I was going to talk about lush bath bombs or something. I think I didn't end up actually having that bath in the end. Or I did have a bath, but I didn't use any lush things in it. I just, uh, just had a bath. What the fuck? He just killed his friend. Oh god, I have to I've go all the way to my fence. Oh, I'm so disoriented. The darkness really gets to you after a while. What was the topic? I think what I was going to say was, can you shoot your creeper friend? I want a copy of Cat, please. I would love a copy of Cat. Um, a few weeks ago, Chris and I went to uh, Amsterdam. Was it weeks ago? It feels like it was months now. 
I guess it was only weeks ago. No, maybe it was. I don't know. We went to Amsterdam and uh, we and uh, we went into the Lush and we we looked at the. Uh, you know what Lush is, I guess. It's like a shop that sells very expensive, like bath stuff. Like they sell like things that you put in the bath to make bubbles and, and all sorts. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, he's aggressive. I need my own bow, don't I? Um, and normally I'm a little against it. I'm not against it, but I'm normally not. It's not for me, right? But I thought, you know, this time I was like, I was just gonna, I was just gonna go along with it. Like normally when you go into this shop. Um, the ladies in there will, and the men, I guess, they'll try and upsell you. You know, they'll be like, oh, you know, have you, have you been having, are you tired? Are you exhausted with your human life? What, why don't you get these lovely bubbles for your bath? Uh, you know, they'll follow you around and, you know, maybe poke you a little bit with a knife or something. Maybe that's just the London branch. You know, they'll, they'll try and, they'll try and get you to, to try out all the goods so you'll hopefully buy them because they're quite pricey. Um, and normally I just, I kind of hate that thing. Uh, I still do kind of hate that thing. But usually I just uh, I say like no nope, no thank you I'm I'm good, uh, but this time I was like you know what let's fucking do it why not let's give it a go, and uh, I let this actually let's see if this works. I uh, you know I let this lady show me around and they, they fuck I hear a dog, hang on why do I hear a dog being sad? I'm so sorry I, this is this is imp this is more important than whatever I was just talking about. You. It's because my dog came out to save me. Oh, you're such a good boy. Go go back to your room, son. You shouldn't be out here. What did you do? You escaped somehow? How did you escape? What the heck? Come on. Oh, God. What has he done? I, I hate Minecraft dogs getting hurt. It's such a sad fucking sound effect. I must have something I can feed him, right? Oh my god, I've got nothing. He he worries so much for my safety, he doesn't even think about his own. Where have you gone, Tim? Where is he? I hear a small dog going, like, making dog noises, but I'm not sure where he is. Oh, here he is. What are you doing? Look, come on over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Through the gate? No, 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 this way, this way. Silly Tim, come on. He's just, he's just staring off. He's, no, he's happy. He's just, sometimes he just gets a little bit of a brain fart. Like we all do, right? Maybe I need to, <laughs> little nose poking through. Look, come on. I think he's getting confused about the door. Look, come on, come on. We need to get you somewhere safe, my dog. There we go. Stay in there, all right? Good boy. Look. There you go. Jeez. What will I ever do with you? Silly little dog. Okay. Um, what was I talking about? Lush. Oh, yeah. Um, normally I get kind of frightened if I go in a shop and people try to talk to me. But, you know, I went along with the whole thing. And, you know, they're obviously very nice. They're sort of trained to be nice. And I think they only... It's one of the shops where they only hire people if they're of a certain type. You know, they're if they're all bubbly and chatty, I think they're not going to hire anyone who's down on themselves in a lush. Oh my god, it works. This is great. Thanks, Find. F-Y-N-D. I think he's... Maybe he streams. If he does stream, you can go watch it. If he doesn't, tell him to watch. Tell him to stream more. Um, yeah. Uh, so I went along with the whole thing, and, you know, I tried out some stuff. They got this, like, sort of little cloud-looking thing that you crumble up. It feels a bit like sort of clay. Like a hard clay, and you crumble it in the bubbles, and it makes super bubbles. And it's really cool. And I was gonna... At the end of the last video, I was gonna, I was gonna talk about how I was gonna make a nice relaxing bath with that. But maybe I'll actually do that today. I meant to have a bath yesterday, but instead, like an idiot, I ended up hanging out with my friends. Um, just completely stupid. We've, um, Chris and Cake and I have recently started playing Terraria again, um, which I'd highly recommend watching. We're streaming it, and I've been putting the VODs on um, the alternate YouTube channel. Um, having a great time. We're getting, uh, we're teaching Chris how to play Terraria so we can play Calamity at some point, because that's something I'd really like to do. Uh... So yeah, that's that's sick. We've been streaming that, and we ended up playing that yesterday afternoon instead of me having a bath. So there you go, in case you were wondering. Uh, okay. Anyway, this conversations aside, we've got a job to do. We need to, I think, spiral up top with this same pattern, because I think the on-off switch has to be linked. Like this, the this button here has to be linked up top the same way as the other one. 
So I need to go, first of all, work out how high up that is so I know when to dig to. Uh, I don't really remember what... <laughs> I don't remember what the uh, the Z of my house is. I'm so sorry. Or the Y in Minecraft, isn't it? You go up Y, don't you? Yeah. Which is apparently a little weird. Apparently most games you'd go up the Z axis, like it's flat on the ground, and then depth up down would be Z, but for whatever reason in Minecraft it's forwards backwards. Which I find a little weird as well. Alright, we want to dig up to about Y equals 108. Twice. So this is going to be a little tedious. Uh, so you'll have to forgive me. I will be doing some mining in this Minecraft game. Please forgive me. I know everyone hates mining. I think I'm joking. Oh shit, we're at the other side of the mountain. Okay. Um, oops. <laughs> Can I dig up this side? I should check how much space I've got, actually. I thought that thing said Tomu on it. Hey, Tomu. Um, I guess I should try and dig more this way. I think that's possible, if not a little bit of a pain. Oh, this is a little bit of a pain, isn't it? Hang on. This is the difficulty from not pre-planning everything, right? I mean, I think maybe the most efficient thing to do is go find three more diamonds and make a diamond pick. I originally didn't want to make it because I didn't want... I thought I was going to be cutting more wood than not stone, honestly, because I didn't think I was going to be doing, well, like, strip mining or anything. But I guess this this will take a little second, and that could have helped. Anyway, uh, regrets aside, life's full of them. <laughs> Don't worry. I mean, I guess I can just dig a vertical branch all the way up, right? And for now, I can just use ladders to go up top. Like, it just needs to be a shaft of torches, doesn't it? Whoops, not like that. Like that, I think. And then if I put a thing on top of you... Hang on. Oh yeah, actually, I can make this really efficiently. If I go and make a bunch of uh, ladders, I can just make two vertical shafts. One will be a maintenance shaft, so it'll, uh, it'll just be a ladder going up top. And the other one will be the redstone torches. I don't need to do this whole spiral thing. Look at this. I think that was one of the things I was talking about in the last video, right? Like the programming method where you just gotta you gotta start with something and then improve it from there, right? Um, so before I get philosophical, because apparently that's that's what these are. That's what the Minecraft series is. It's Woolen discusses life philosophies. It was never the intent, but I'll be honest, I'm happy that that's what it's become. So let me just quickly do this before I completely lose track of what I do. I have to be very careful because I do very easily lose track, as you might have seen. God, it's getting warm again. I even put like trackies on today, like tracksuit bottoms, because I thought it was going to be cold. An idiot I am. A true fool. I'm probably going to need more torches, but let's just go with this for now. Let me have another sip of water as we walk back as well. Okay. Um, um what was I talking about again? Uh, pro yeah, 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 yeah. So, I think sometimes when you're faced with like a big project, right? So, say for example, your uni dissertation, right? If you have to write, you know an insane amount of stuff for a university project, you have to write, I don't know about other countries, I'm assuming it's probably about the same. In the UK, you have to write a dissertation. Um, this is going to be shit. I should move this along a bit more. Uh, which is just like this enormous project, right? You have to create something. At least for programming, you have to create something and then write like 10, 20,000 words about it. Which sounds like a lot, but it's not. Uh, in the end, you end up writing, or at least I ended up writing a lot more than the maximum. And that half the time I spent, well, not half the time, but I spent a significant amount of time having to cut it down. Like the worst is when you've written a lot and you're like, I need all of this. This is all important to the project. You don't want to remove anything. That's the worst. Actually, no, I think this is fine. Um, I think if the ladder hatch might not work, but we're not going to be using it. I just need this to work once. We can we can cover this up or not. I mean, we could just have it open air. I, I don't I don't hate the idea of open air. Like I was mentioning earlier, the side of like a PC case, right, where you can see all the internals. Like I always like the transparent Nintendo sixty fours and Game Boys, where you can see the internals. I th I think that's sick. I don't know how it works with this mountain thing I've got, so we might we might just cover it up. It's very likely. Let's just let's just continue with it for now. But yeah, uh, when you're faced with a project like that, right, it's extremely daunting. You have no fucking idea where to start, because you always look at the end product. Like, a lot of the times, you're taught to work back from the end. And at the end, you see yourself having written 10,000 words from something. 
having created like months worth of project from something and you just get overwhelmed and you're like you never start it right because you're like oh shit this is just never gonna work out um I, maybe i do kind of like the little <laughs> shitty little like glass wall on the side i don't know we'll see we'll see how i'm feeling i have mentioned a lot that i kind of like the shitty aesthetic that this series sometimes has um yeah you know, just have it like sneaking up the side here like shh, shh, don't tell anyone this is where the on button is here we go i forget if this is the on or the off button but i guess it's uh it's easy to find out isn't it if i just pop a button here tap it will this turn off or do nothing i don't know if that would have worked can i even send a signal back like this Hang on, I haven't thought about that. Is this thing even a two... I think this is a two-way. Hang on. Maybe they need to be on the same level. I haven't... I actually guess I haven't thought about this. Maybe I should have tested it. Huh. How would this work? Hang on. Has Finn sold me a lemon? He said I need to use extenders, but I need to actually do a spiral of extenders all the way up top just to extend this, because that seems horrible. I mean, that light obviously is turning off, but I don't know how... That's not how you send a signal down. That's only a signal up, isn't it? Right? Hmm. Hang on. I might indeed need to make a spiral. Um... Oh, that's a pain. Yeah, because this... I think this only goes up, doesn't it? I mean, we can test it, right? Like, right here. Like this. We have a torch here, and a torch here. And then a line coming off. And then we have, like, a lever. Okay, that doesn't work. What about this? That doesn't work. Hang on. I'm... I mean, sometimes I get a bit confused about this whole redstone thing. Not like that. How about this? Hmm. Oh, hang on. This is permanently lit by this thing. Yeah, hang on. How would this work? I don't know how this would work. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. This is this this isn't working, is it? Like the one above it, this would be lit, wouldn't it? Like this would this would get adjusted, I think. Hang on. Sorry, I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. Give me just a second while I I think. Yeah, that works. But that goes that's works going up. And there's is there any way to have this working with a thing below it? This is this is pain. I don't feel like there's any way to let a signal go down. Some of you obviously will know the answer to this and you're annoyed, but you have to forgive me as this is a YouTube video. I have a strong feeling that this only... Oh yeah, you can burn them out. This only sends a signal up. So, okay. Change of plans. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. But we do have to make another spiral, I think. How was I sending this signal before? Did I do it in a, I did it in a spiral, didn't I? Wait. Hang on, how was this working? Hang on, what? Did I never have a lever up top? Maybe. Sorry, I'm... Forgive me. Maybe I never had a lever up top. Yeah. Okay, that's... That's sensible. Uh, actually, hang on. No, don't hang on. Hang on, hang on, wait, don't hang on. That's, that's correct. That's the output. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> okay, well, uh, fine. We'll just have to build two spirals. That's fine. We'll just, do, we'll just do that. That's fine, that's fine. That means we'll have to make some repeaters, I think. Unless there's a better way. That's, that's not the end of the world. Okay. Let's uh, disable the water feature for now. Just just get this out of here. I kind of wish it was daytime. I should go... What time is it in Minecraft? 
Wait, hang on. Is the water still there? Okay, never mind. Let's just go rest for a second. I don't like working when it's dark. It's it's too dark to like see or think. I don't know if any of you ever get overwhelmed by the night, but I do sometimes. Uh, but yeah, all I was going to say earlier in regards to the, the programming thing is like, I think it's uh, it's completely reasonable to always start with something a bit scrappy and a bit sketchy and, and, and file it down. I think that's like the best way to go about building stuff in this as well. Like if you look at the end product, you get a bit overwhelmed, right? You see like these amazing buildings that people have done and you think, damn, I'm never going to do that. The reality is it's probably taken them like a mil unless they're literally copy and pasting the design it's probably taken them forever to uh, put something together like that so just remember it remember it in perspective basically you always you never see or you very rarely actually see the process of making something you always see like the finished product or when you do watch something where people have been you know creating something amazing they'll like speed through the, the creation process as if it took no time at all, uh, which I strongly doubt it, you know, indeed took no time at all. So yeah, just don't don't get too focused on that, I guess. I, uh, my brain's hurting a bit. Hang on, how was this working? What? Wait. How? How was this work? Wait, hang on. Hang Hang on, I'm feeling a bit stupid right now. Maybe it's like that. I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm so sorry, I'm losing my mind right now. Why why are there blocks randomly missing? Did I do this? That turns off, right? Oh no, wait, I disabled the circuit up top size. Damn. Yeah, okay, I need to probably have another coffee after this. <laughs> Um, alright, whatever. Coffee later. Minecraft now. That's my new, like, shirt design. Feel free to steal that, sell it, give me no profits. I'm up with that. I'm cool with it. Let's see what we can do. Speaking of cool with it, actually, um, I've been using Redbubble for a long time for merch, and I'm wondering if any of you have any suggestions for better ones, because it's been a few years now. There's got to be some better, some better alternatives, right? to using Redbubble, like if I want to, if I want to use my custom shirt designs that I got that I've commissioned from like Switchy and everyone. I don't, I don't know how I feel about Redbubble, like they've done well, like the shirts they make are quite comfy and they let you use, you know, whatever designs you have access to. But I'm also aware that they, they harbour a lot of like stolen content, you know, or at least, you know, not necessarily Redbubble themselves, but a lot of people use Redbubble to, uh, to like steal people's work and I, I really I'm not really all about that so maybe I'm like oh maybe there's a a better platform that people sort of respect a little bit more that I could move my merch to I don't know I was wondering if any of you knew like some of you watch content creators more than I do and maybe you've seen oh yeah everyone's using fucking I don't know Etsy <laughs> maybe not Etsy but you know what I mean if you do have any suggestions please please do yell I'd be super interested um Anyway, back back to Minecraft. I forget, is a uh, redstone signal 11 blocks and then I need to start putting repeaters down? Did I bring stone with me? I think I did, right? Let's make a bunch of repeaters. We're not going to need these torches for much else. Let's have a look. Signal goes... Uh, well, I, maybe I can count. Oh, actually, you know what's even better than that? I can just put a redstone torch on the ground and count. I know this is a little retro, but it does work, I promise you. Torch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Third, third, 13? 14? 15? Really? This goes 15 blocks. Shit. That's a lot further than I thought. Okay, well that means we only have to do a pit. Okay, I thought it was like ten. Never mind. All right, let's go. Let's go do that then. Fifteen redstones. Fifteen redstone blocks. I'm thinking about that now because that's when we're gonna have to make a break in our little spot. Shitting hell. Uh, I'm not scared of creep. Like I should be more scared of creepers because in the server we've got explosions turned off. But this is this is my like single player server and explosions are absolutely not turned off. He could realistically blow up the whole operation. So I'd like it if you were to back off, sir. That's not so bad. A little rude, but 
It's actually done a little bit of geofencing for me. <laughs> Here we go. Perfecto. And we've also, yeah, I guess I should mention, we've been continuing on the server. I've been playing on that a lot more than this, I suppose. And um, we've been building some really cool stuff. Like I made an evil lair, sort of, to store all my stuff in. And I made this cool greenhouse, which I'd kind of like to recreate some version of in this. Just like a little glass building. And it's all... <coughs> bless you. All the logs are sort of like fallen off and it, you know, it's looking a little dilapidated and it's cool. I like the style I've done. Don't know what I'll do next time we play though. Let's, um, okay, let's have a look. 11, uh, 15, didn't I say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so maybe I need a repeater. It's kind of a pain to do repeaters, isn't it? <laughs> In a spiral. I remember this being a, a pain before. I think that's I think that's the best way to do it, isn't it? I don't think it climbs that way, no. They they really do take up a lot, don't they? A lot of space. I think it still technically works though. So this we should hear a piston move. If this is working correctly. If I break that. This should make a piston sound. That indeed made a piston sound. Okay, so I think I'm right, and I think we can continue this pattern. So, get out. Let's get out, of Mr. Piston. Excuse me, sir. Let's clear out all the space for now as well. I'm sure we'll work out a pattern by the end, and we can recreate it in the other one. But let's go. One, two. Whoops. Three. I uh, don't need to count the whole thing, do I? I think I can just dig out. I should just dig out vertically, like, a lot, right? And then this makes it a lot easier. Just like this. One, two, three. Nice and nice and chill. And we'll, we'll just build up, and then, you know, if we need to make a repeat, I'll, I'll adjust what I've done slightly. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn, this can actually go up quite high. I mean, I guess actually 15 blocks is quite a lot, isn't it? Like, vertically, that's 15 blocks. Give or take a couple, you know, for the actual repeaters, but... We're only going up, like, 20, 30 blocks, right? So we only need a couple repeaters for the whole thing. This isn't this isn't quite as bad as I'd envisioned. I know when I said, oh, this isn't so bad, we'll just fix it. I was sort of thinking, this is kind of bad, this is a pain, but... We do what we must because we can, you know? We've all played Portal, right? If you haven't played Portal, Jesus, what are you doing? Don't like puzzles. That's fair. That's understand. It's a puzzle game. It probably isn't for you then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I guess we'll put the repeater there. Just like this. Fourteen. Excuse me, sir. I'll have to go back and make another pick when I yeah. And another shovel. Jeez. Okay. Okay, so this needs to be a repeater. Hang on, how did I do this before? I needed... Like that? I think like I think that works. It's like a little squished, but it works, I guess. Oh look, we're right near the top already. We only had to do like two repeaters that whole time. So we can check to see if this works actually. I think we can just punch our way. No, I'm not punching through rock. I don't hate you all that much, I think. That's what I'm saying, at least, you know, your favourite parasocial streamer friend. Let's go through here. Whee! Okay. Zoom back here. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess we can talk about other things. So I saw lots of lovely responses again. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, last time. Um, I'm glad you're all enjoying yourselves. And it's, it's nice to constantly hear what you're all up to. Like, um... I think some of you do and maybe enjoy writing the comments, and some of you probably chuck them away. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're all aware, but I do. I do read all of them, and I still find it lovely that you're all you all continue to interest, and you're all uh, you're all up to something interesting. You know, one of you's renovating your home. A couple of you are doing a bunch of painting, your homework. You're playing a lot. Of you're playing Minecraft yourself. Some of you are probably f probably flying a fighter jet. Let's be honest. If you're watching this stream or this stream, this video. Seem like a fighter jet sort of person. If you have a high enough IQ for this, at least. This is probably some of the most difficult content on the channel. On the website, even. There we go. I'm being facetious. 
Or am I? Shit. Maybe he's not. Do I need to go... I might have to go dig more redstone. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to go get more redstone. Okay, you know what? That that simplifies my adventure a little bit. Let's go briefly pop into the mines. We won't be too long. We're just looking for some redstone. So we'll go grab this, grab this. Get some torches and... Then we'll be off. What do I need? Food. Do we have any bread? We should probably go mine. Oh, we should go check our farm, I mean. Let's do that in a moment. Is it about to be night time? I believe it is. Ah, oh, the music. Okay. I think we have time to check our farm. There's something funny about having this home defense completely be broken by a single leaf be a bit lower. We'll go to Dong Mountain. That classic. You know, I would salute if that was an option in Minecraft, like a Wacham. I've noticed in uh, the, whatever version of Terraria we're playing now, they've added emotes, so now you can... You can do like the little emotes that they added for the NPCs, like when they chat to each other. It's kind of cute. Okay. Minecraft, but with twerking, you know? Just saying it would be better. You all know it would be better, right? Maybe there's a mod for that on Game Banana, I don't know. I'm just going to chill and enjoy the music for a second while I think about my headache that's just shown up. Oh dear. Don't break it. I think you can jump on the end of those without breaking stuff. It's mostly walking in this version, right? Like, you, you, can, you have to sort of shift walk like this over your farms, don't you? Satisfying. ASMR. Woolen clicks his mouse in Minecraft. Let's do this. <sighs> nice. God, it's so dark. <laughs> we should make a cute little path back to our home so I don't have to move through the bushes every single time. This is kind of unsettling, isn't it? A little scary. Oh me, oh my. Oh god. If you're wondering how I'm hitting these things, the answer is I have no idea. It's a fight or flight situation. And I choose to fly. Get out of here, my champ. It's Dodrio's time to shine. Quickly hop into bed. Pull the covers over your head. <sighs> Something comfy about it. And then the monsters are still there in the morning, huh? Scary. All right, we are now a baker, officially. That's a lot of baked goods, damn. Finally, I have food in this game, that's crazy. I'll put a chest at the top of my bed, like that. Let's go on a short adventure. Bom, 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 bom. Oh, in here. Oh, we should take the wood with us, just in case. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I wonder if a diamond axe does more damage than a iron sword. Seems to be the same damage. Okay. Oh shit, I just ate that by accident. Y'all ever just, like, accidentally throw a loaf of bread into your mouth? Because I know 100% I do. It's such a, such a classic funny moment. Where did I put my mine, by the way? It was out here somewhere, wasn't it? Like, I, I made, like, a special hole for it. In here? I already did, like, the mass digging. I think it's in here somewhere, isn't it? Is it you? Are you the hole? You're the hole! Okay. Shit, I have a furnace and everything. You know what? We might be coming down here a lot. I don't know. Let's make, like, a million staircases. Just to make things a bit more... Hang on. Like that. I don't... I think that might not make it all the way to the bottom, but, you know, it makes things a little easier. Just if we want to come back up. It's, we don't have to hold down space the whole time. I don't even think I hold space. I, I don't know what button I press. You know, sometimes in, like, gaming you try to explain to someone, like, your keybind, and you just actually don't know what the button is. But, like, in your head, right, your muscle memory, you know what the button is. I don't know what button I press normally when I'm going upstairs. I feel like I jump every time, but I don't actually know. Alright, that's that, that seems fine. I am bonking my head on, like, every member of the ceiling, but I guess I can briefly just do this. It doesn't take too long. Make things a little easier on ourselves. 
Here we go. It's very relaxing. It's actually a lot faster than I thought this was going to be. Whenever I think I'm going to have to deal, whenever I think I'm going to have to dig down to hell and then fill up with staircases, it fills me with a small amount of dread. This time, not so much. There we go. Perfect. There we go. It's something kind of nice. And then, you know, at some point, maybe we could have like a little minecart going down here. Mine have you ever used a furnace minecart for anything in this game? Because I know I sure, sure as heck haven't. Um, let's keep going this way. Don't know why I chose to go past the gravel last time, but whatever. I, you know, I say weird things sometimes. I do weird things. We all, we're all guilty of something. That's a song, isn't it? I think it must be a song. I'm a famous singer sang slash uh, songwriter on my other channel, as I'm sure you're all aware. Uh, a woolen second channel that people keep saying I'm posting Twitch vods there, but really, they're songs disguised as three hour long Terraria streams, just to keep you all ahead of things. Here we go. Bonk. Oh, gold. I think we need gold for nothing other than just swag points, right? Y equals 16. I mean, if we're going to be looking for redstone, we might as well do it at the diamond level, right? Which is like 12. I think I always used to do like 13. But I think people used to tell me off maybe 12 is slightly more efficient. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? We're not, we're not going to be spending all day here. Uh, let's put the cheat menu away. I could see monsters spawning and it was spooking me. Don't want that. All right, and now I think we dig two out of the ceiling. Oops, I, should, I was thinking maybe I should put a torch down, but this is fine as well. I think two out of the ceiling gives us good head height. Just like this, nice and comfy. And while we're doing this, we might also find redstone. That's, that's partly why I'm sort of faffing with this. We are here for one thing in particular, and it is redstone. Here we go. You're all going to get like trust issues, aren't you? Oh, Woolen says he said he's never going to do strip mining, and then within five minutes, he's already down there stripping. He's gotten all his armor off. His trousers have come off. Jesus wept. What's he talking about now? Weird man. All right. Look. Bonk, 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 bonk. Excuse me, sir. Bonk, bonk. Perfect. It just makes the things a little bit easier. Like I can just sort of mindlessly click off the screen. Oh yeah. Maybe we can have another thing. Um, I played a uh, new RuneScape raid the other day. I don't know how many of you follow that, but it's uh, it's an MMO, and uh, a raid is an MMO thing where you have like a lot of players go in and do like you know boss rushes together and puzzles, and there's like a big boss fight at the end usually, kind of good fun. And they added their third new raid the other day or the other week called uh, Tombs of a Mascot. Just to date this video, because right now this feels brand new, right? He's talking about the newest hippest stuff, but in ten years people are going to be like, what the fuck is he talking about? This is ancient news. I've been doing that raid for years. It's worth nothing now. But it's uh, Egyptian themed and it's really cool. And it made me think... I kind of like it when... Uh, I like it when games don't just go like generic fantasy out of the ass. You know, I like it when they take a little bit of real inspiration and stuff. And I thought it was cool. Like the whole raid is, you know, it's Egyptian focused and you fight all these bosses sort of loosely based on Egyptian gods. So there's a... Uh, there's like a big monkey and there's a... I don't think there's a... the dog-headed one. I forget what he's called. Ung... Um, I don't remember. Anubis, maybe? I don't know if there's an Anubis-themed one, but it's cool. And, you know, everything like sounds really cool and looks really cool. And it was, it was just making me feel kind of kind of happy about it. Like, I'm sure most of you don't play Genshin Impact, but I like that all the uh, main countries in the game are based on real places. So like the starting area is Germany. And I must have talked about this in a previous video, so I won't rattle on too much. But I like that you can just sort of wander around and you can see the real inspirations taken from things and it makes you think, oh yeah, this, you know, this is clearly based on like an old German like castle or you're in like the Japan area and you're like, oh, obviously these are Tory gates. And I, I guess it's, I don't know, maybe some people think it's lazy because you're taking inspiration from things. But I think a lot of the time it's very hard to be completely original. I think it's... It takes a good amount of skill to take something that's real, ta change it just enough that it feels fresh, but still keeping it familiar, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it's... I don't know, I find it a little weird when you play a game and it's like a copy and paste of a place from real life, like, exactly. Like, uh, you know, they've just literally just taken, like, New York City and they've plonked you in it, or they've taken, like, a street in London or something and they've just plonked you in it. I don't know about that, but when they really, like, stylize it, like, when they do it with, um... I mean, Deus Ex, I don't know how... It's based loosely real. I like what they do with, like, 
they've changed it and they've got this cool like cyberpunk style but you can still very much recognize it as a somewhat modern city i can't remember which one it's based on and you wander around and you're like oh yeah it's like this but but like more modern and with more lights on it i find that cool oh shit i should have bought more pickaxes I, 34 redstone let's see what we can do with it i don't feel like that'll be enough unless there's some hidden in here i just put this down i'm stupid whatever I'm also, um, we use cheat commands on the server, so I kind of just wanted to press, like, slash back in the chat there just to teleport home, but alas, cannot do it. Let's go back. I, you know, I don't want to spend all day doing this. I kind of wanted to get this, uh, this on-off switch thing done. I didn't realize it was going to take quite so long. But, uh, you know, that's, that's how it always goes with this, right? You come up with, like, a sort of smallish little project, like a cute little water lift. You're thinking, ah, this will take, like, maybe 45 minutes, and instead it stretches out to, like, four hours, and you're like, damn. You look back at yourself and you're like, oh, I spent all that time. Like, uh, I do that a lot sometimes, but if I get really into something again, I am starting to feel a little nostalgic about Dong Mountain. I, I don't know about you lot, sorry, but just as I came up here and I saw this thing and, like, the little glass house, I'm like, oh, we're home. You know? Are, are any of you starting to feel that as well? Like, a sort of a sense of homeliness for this place. It's kind of cosy. I completely forgot what I was talking about. I just started thinking about Dong Mountain. Sorry. It, it happens. It's just life, isn't it? Let's go grab our spare pickaxe, because I made two. These really don't last as long as I thought they did, by the way. I have a bucket as well. Um, we have these torches and this, and I don't think we need pistons for anything. We just need torches and repeaters and redstone. So let's go with this. don't even think we need torches really right now. So we'll, we'll just go with this stuff. Maybe we'll cook some more stone. No, we've got... No, I'll cook some stone. It's nice to have. Cook this iron as well. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's... What was I... We're just building the little spiral, right? Let's grab a red wool. Oh, yeah. That's how I was talking about red wool earlier. I was kind of thinking, like, why was I talking about this? Where did it come from? Where's it going? Bonk. Bonk, bonk. Damn, I always thought buttons were so expensive in this version because it, like... I would never pre-cook anything. I would only ever use the furnace when I actually needed it. So, like an idiot, you know? I'd just be like, damn, I need stone. And I'd just be sitting there waiting for stone to slowly cook and I'd get really frustrated. Which is obviously hilarious to think about now. Like, such a such a funny thing to get stuck up on. But, um... I did, you know? I'd, I'd just sit there and be like, god, these buttons. I have to wait, like, 20 seconds to make just one. It's crazy. And now, obviously, you know, you just do, like, the tiniest bit of four... Uh, forethought and you're you're like you know you're, you're happy you're safe you're feeling glad you got sunshine in a bag you're useless but not for long your future is coming on it's coming on it's coming on. Yeah, 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 it happened etc i like gorillas one day one day i'll go to a gorillas concert and you know like all bands right you like them for their earlier work right and you're always a little sad when you have to listen to their newer stuff even though they're obviously enjoying that more you're always a little bit like damn i really wanted to listen to uh really wanted to listen to uh, Clint Eastwood or something. Sorry, I just looked at that and immediately forgot what colour it was. Green. I think if we were to go, we'd have to listen to like the newer albums, right? And I don't hate New Gorillas. Their whole band, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm assuming you all know what Gorillas is, right? Like the, the band. <laughs> They're quite mainstream. I, th I think so. They're a, they're a band and they, they do a lot of experimental style music. So that should technically turn it on. I think. I think. This should this should pass. D oh shit, I've done this with repeaters. Repeaters are one way. Oh my god, you're all fucking slapping your heads right now, aren't you? How the hell am I meant to do this? Oh, I've got an idea. Do I have to have one pipe for going up and one pipe for going down? I really should have thought about this more. I just sort of blindly trusted Finn that I could pluck this in, but maybe I should have looked into it more. I'm assuming he probably wanted me to do something. Um, <sighs> this is frustrating. Um, what am I going to do? I think what I do is I send these repeaters back the other way. There's, there must be a better way to do this, and if there is, I'm so sorry. But I think for now... We're going to go with what we've got. I'm going to send these repeaters down backwards, and then I'm going to make a vertical pipe for going up. 
And remember what I discussed at the start of the video, right? Where you don't have to start with something perfect. You just have to start with something. <laughs> um, that's, that's what I'm going to do here. Like, this idea I'm coming up with right now is a bit of a compromise. Mostly due to lack of forethought, admittedly. Um, but I think I can come up with a sort of temporary solution here where I can have two... I'd have to have a lot of fucking tunnels, but I, I can get it at least working. So this should turn it on. Oh, I should uh, I should enable the enable the feature again. Hang on. What am I doing? Uh, this actually let's jump down. This is quicker. I'm gonna just get something just to get it working. So this should hopefully turn it off. And then we'll climb back up here. Uh, just to get it working, and then later we will refine it. So if one of you comes back and says, yeah, there's a really easy way to send a signal up and down, you know, maybe you can do it with a minecart or water or... Water would make sense. Maybe I could pour water from up here with a piston and it, it sets off a block down below, like it sits on a redstone ore or something and I don't know. Let's just see. Does this work at least? That does work, okay? Fuck. Well, whatever. Um, this does work, and that's good. That's good. Uh, for a second, I'm just going to... Oh, actually, one of you did recommend at some point that I cover something. I don't remember what, but something in cobblestone slabs. Just for um, to stop monsters spawning. Maybe on top of the doghouse or something. Or up here. Like, this could all be... I do kind of like the aesthetic in Minecraft of making everything half a block higher and having all your furniture after either sticking down into the ground or like up half a block. So I could fill up this whole room like this or use like um, wood slabs to make it feel like a little wooden room. That could be cool. I still, I don't know, well, how was I going to fill this room with light? Maybe get some like glowstone and encage it with trapdoors or something? Might be cool. Okay, anyway, we've got this working. So let's, um, let's think about it. We have it turning on. Um, hang on. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, why am I being stupid? <laughs> Hang on just a second. First of all, this is an off button. Or is it because I, maybe this washed away something down below. Hang on. That makes sense. Let's go, let's go repair this quickly. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm I think I'm more tired than I think I am. Um, let me try and think about this properly. Yeah, this is, this is just disconnected. Sorry, um... <sighs> we want to do that. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, let me, let me stop for just one second. Mm, not interested in you. Really not interested in you. <sighs> we need to light that room down. We need to light all this up, actually. That's scary. Um, sorry, I, you must all be so frustrated. Um, some of you probably watching this on the side. You're now looking back at the video, you're like, I want it wrong. Okay. I only need these to go down. They're, this does not need to be a two-way operation. So what I've built here with a spiral, with one-way redstone repeaters, is fine. That functions. That's fine. I don't know why I was overthinking this so much. Um, that's okay. <sighs> fine. Um, that's that's fine. That's uh, that saves me a lot of time. I was actually gonna go build that spiral tunnel, but I'm glad I haven't now. Okay, so this goes down. This will send the signal down there. You, I'm sorry that coal. I'm sure some of you love that coal block. He's gone now. He had a button on him, and that is un unacceptable. I'll fix this up another time. I just don't want a hole in the side. Okay, that's fine. So this spirals down. Now I need to somehow... Ah, oh, these buttons should be somewhere slightly different, shouldn't they? Because right now they're right next to this... Actually, no, this water piston I can just move elsewhere, can't I? Yeah, I see no reason for this piston to have to be right here. So we'll grab our bucket. I'll just quickly scoop. Little scoop. Literally fell down to the abyss there. Okay, so this signal could really go anywhere. Like we can, we can put this tunnel all the way back here. Uh, something. I don't know where I'm going to put this other spiral because we've already got one here. <laughs> Actually, this isn't really a spiral. 
There's no way we could spiral around this, right? Like, it would connect to all the torches, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hopeless thought. I mean, maybe you could do it if you made everything out of repeaters, but that's not really feasible. Okay, um, we have to split this up somehow, and we could do that with repeaters. Uh, if we have a... the button coming out, like... You need to not be here. So the button signal goes here. And we need to have a piston, maybe... About yay? Yay, Miko? How about something like this? Give ourselves a little bit more space. The piston could even go up. Like, why not, right? Can I... Do I have space? I don't really have space. I think the water block has to go here. So let's have the piston go... Up? No, up, please, sir. Okay, that worked, surprisingly. <laughs> we'll have the signal go like this. Oops. Like that. That's the signal. And we'll cover it up. There we go. Cover it up, cover it up. So that's that's fine. Oh fuck! What oh, it survived? No no no. I survived? The f Uh, what? Let's um, hang on. I just broke my legs. Let me quickly have a quick, quick loaf of baguette. Hang on. What? I survived that. That was like a thirty-block fall. Jesus, Steve. Oh my god. Let's um. God, it's the spooky like meme music. What? Okay, that was. Sorry, I. My, like, brain is currently a little overwhelmed. <laughs> what was I doing? I just... It's not about to be... No, it's about to be play playtime. Okay, sorry. I I keep apologising. I don't need to do that. I should stop doing that. Uh, let's not do that anymore. Sorry. <laughs> I was building a spiral. There was a creeper in here that is probably still in here somewhere. Where is he? I know you're here. I really... Oh, he's just down there. Okay, that's fine. Before I forget, let's light up this room. Just, like, a lot. I don't want anything in here. I don't want any creepers spawning in my contraptions. Ever. Okay. You need to be hooked up like that. There's no real way to stop me from doing stupid stuff with water, I think, so I apologize for that in advance. I will probably flood this contraption a few times. Classic notch. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's, let's get back to whatever it was I was doing. I was being strange, probably. Which is fine. It's fine to be a little strange. That's my new t-shirt. You can steal that one as well, if you like. Okay, I was just thinking about how I was going to leave this button back, I think, right? Which I can simply do here. Let's think about where the best place to put this spiral is. I think... Maybe these squares? I think this is fine, isn't it? Actually, wait, hang on. No, wait, there's this signal here. Unless... Can I... Can I do that? I oh, you can't see me, I'm craning my head. Why am I craning my head? Like, I'm physically moving my head to try and see under this thing. I'm... That's really weird. <laughs> I'd do that. I'd be useless in VR, wouldn't I? I'd be utterly useless. Uh, okay. I think this... This seems fine. This seems perfectly fine. I should put a, just a like a a little signpost upright to block this here, so I can still see it, but so it the water doesn't flow past it. Fuck. God, I haven't done that in a few years, huh? Accidentally makes. I mean, trapdoors would work as well. Just a sign here. So this should mean I can now place my water here without it flooding. Yep. So that works. Uh, the off button then will have to go. Oh fuck, that doesn't work. <laughs> it was a cute idea, okay. It was it was a cute idea. It just isn't the right idea. And that's fine as well. There we go. I don't need these ladders here anymore, so we can start getting rid of that. Alright, so that that's cute. We can make this into like a little river feature or something. I don't know. We can even make this into a two by two somehow. Maybe. 
so it comes down at least like symmetrically. Why are you flowing like that? That's really weird. Oh, it's that is kind of weird actually. Why is it flowing like that? Why, why would you ever decide to flow like that? In what world is that the right thing to do? That's weird. Yeah, I'm like wondering if maybe I should make this too wide actually, like too. How would I do that? Can I? I have another piston in my backpack, don't I? I could make another piston, I think. Hang on. I keep making all these bloody uh, crafting benches and just leaving them everywhere like a weirdo. I don't even have enough wood. Never mind. I guess I could go chop these trees. I don't want to do that. I have three crafting benches here. <laughs> I just thought maybe I can have two by two and then I could have um, both the pistons being fed into. I could maybe have a repeater here and then looping around to the other piston. And then this would be symmetrical and I kind of like that. So I think I'll do that, but not right now. And just just to show that I'm going to do that, I'll actually move this block along one to prove it. You know, just to prove it to everyone and myself. Let's, uh, let's do this. Look. Excuse me. Thank you. F fuck. Oh no. Oh dear god. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh. Turn myself into a fucking pickle, Morty. You did what? A pickle? Yeah, I. Yeah, like a. Like a. Yeah, like a pickle. My God. A pickle? Really? You really? A pickle? I turn myself into a pickle. A pickle, Morty. A pickle? What a pickle we're in, huh? Why do you do that, Morty? You've flooded my redstone base. Ah, oh, jeez, Rick. I'm so sorry, Morty. I, uh, sorry, Rick. I, uh, flooded the, the redstone contraption with, uh, with water. And... Oh, shit. You know, it happens. It happens. Ah, oh, jeez. Jeez. Where have my repeaters gone? I see seeds, so maybe they're down there. Oh, jeez. You all knew this was going to happen. Some of you were probably like, yeah. <laughs> Got him. Ah, jeez. <sighs> Redstone. What are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's just being a strange little man. Okay, look. That's... It's not so bad, okay? It's not so bad. I think some of it went out here and broke a single piece of grass. So that's that's fine. Um oh, bloody hell. Uh, there's a little redstone here. Damn, that's that my wind, my sails, my my you know the wind waker, right? When you, you're sailing and then you pull out the wind waker to instantly stop your boat. That's me right now. I've just pulled the wind waker out. I really pulled the wind waker out this time, Morty. Oh shit, is that a wind waker reference? Rick. Yep. It's a wind waker reference, Morty. Shit. I should play more Wind Waker randomizer. I, re I really like rando. I think it's a lot of fun. Oh, I should be pacing this the other way, shouldn't I? That'll be fun. A little bit of rando. I think some redstone's been irreversibly lost. It's probably been lost in the great floods of... Uh, what's the day today? Whatever the day today is. Remember, remember this event as the great floods of when Woolen recorded this. Okay, look. It's not so bad. I think this still kind of works. We should see a signal come up. There's no signal. Hang on. Why is there no signal? Did I break something worse than I thought? Did I not fully repair it? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blunk. Oh. <laughs> How did I do this before? Why aren't you connected? Wait, hang on. What? What? Why are you? Why are you like this? I don't understand. It's an output. Wait. What? Are you feeling okay? Hang on. How was this working before? Sorry, I'm... I'm losing it. What, how was this working before? This doesn't make any sense. Does... 
Does this work? Hang on. What, why was this working? What? What, where did I just put that? That totally works. Okay. So that does... It does work, I guess. It just looks really weird. That's fine. Um, hang on, that should totally be working then, right? Unless something down here broke, which is, I guess, realistic. The output, the input... No, this should be working, right? This should see a signal. Hmm... This is mighty odd. I don't know why that's behaving this way. Sorry, I'm, I'm, my conversation this video has been a little weird. I think I need to, I think I need to take a break. <laughs> I, need to, I need to sit down or something. I just wanted to see this working. Oh, hang on, no signal's good. That means it's working. Okay, so this is fine. I think I think it's best for all of us if I if I stop for now. Um, and we'll come back to this next time. All we need to do is dig for a bit more redstone and then build the other pillar. I just, uh, I think I need to stop for now <laughs> before I before I lose my my mind. Um. Well, on that uh, on that bombshell, I hope you all enjoyed the the video today. Let me know how you're doing, and I will see you all soon. Bye bye. God, that was horrible, wasn't it? It's it's future Woolen again. I had to watch that with you. I didn't rewatch it, but I, in my head, I've been rewatching it. So I'm so sorry about all that. Um, I've now thought of something much better. So <laughs> well, instead of this spiral thing, you know what I should have done? I should have just put the contraption up here. And then all I'd have to do is have one vertical shoot but not even have to have two vertical shoots. One vertical shoot here for one button. One vertical shoot here for another button. A shoot being this thing, like a stack of redstone torches. And then all I'm doing is sending the signal up the easy way. At the top, I'd have the whole contraption. It would be really easy. So I will do that next time. I'm so sorry about everything. I hope you still found it funny at least. And I will be back soon. I will record another video soon. And... And I will repent my sins to Redstone. I'm so sorry. Have a nice have a nice evening and please don't be too angry. Okay? Alright. Thank you. Bye bye.